I once styled Alice Temperley for Vogue. She was absolutely lovely and exactly like her brand. British, bohemian, charming, and with more than a dash of wit. I believe that these gorgeous booties were a sample of Christian Louboutin boots for Alice Temple many, many moons ago. And they're one of my favorite things in the whole world. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, they look great with jeans and more formal trousers, as well as exuberant dresses, um, or just by themselves, they're completely impractical. I mean, red suede and mesh with little crystals on. Do you know this feeling? Do you have heels in your wardrobe that you never wear? Like many modern midlife women, I don't wear heels every day. And many wonderful women that I work with have given them up altogether. Of course, the appeal of a heel, for a few seconds at least, is undeniable. Pull on heels and you feel instantly sexier, taller, your back arches, oof, your bottom sticks out and looks amazing. And every outfit just seems to have more va va -voom. Yet this sense of inner wiggle and outer sexy can be nurtured in other ways without the skyscraper stilettos, even though, as Christian Louboutin himself said, hmm, they can still be good for horizontal pursuits. It's that inner sense of confidence and self-belief that positive life experiences can nourish. The things that you surround yourself with can remind you of positive life experiences and fun. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno, as well as magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life, because I know you're ready to rock life again. You can have fun creating your own style that you feel comfortable in at this point of life. Because when you're comfortable, you're confident. And when you're confident, you're sexy. Mm -hmm. With or without these red shoes, right? I'm from a family of hoarders and I don't subscribe to the school of throw it all out and start again. It's more about surrounding yourself with intentionality and positivity. I've done a whole video series on decluttering your life that you can find in the links below. So if you love your twinkly red shoes as I do and they make you happy, then keep them. I confess that sometimes when I'm home alone, I sometimes just put them on just to, you know, potter around my apartment here, not to dance in, to celebrate being alive and fortunate and in my own body. They remind me of my career and achievements and the adventures I've had. And while they didn't take me to Oz, when I click my red crystal heels together three times, I transport myself to the memories of fun assignments and experiences shooting a Paul Smith campaign in the sunshine of South Africa before swimming with penguins on the beach or hand dyeing silk in my tiny London bathroom at the time and staying up all night stitching bracelets for Kylie Minogue. Of discovering the real life idyllic beauty of Constable Country while shooting an editorial in the beautiful British summer. And of my early days in the fashion cupboard. Gosh, that sounds like the devil wears Prada, doesn't it? Surrounded by beaded Gucci gowns twinkling around me in a young adult's fashion fantasia. And then all the way back to the here and now of Paris and my apartment. Again, because there truly is no place like home. Transporting myself to a life that I don't live, but can feel while I'm dancing at home in my red booties. A life where there isn't grey and drizzly European rain to get drenched in or cobbled streets to slip on in high heels. A life where one can dance the evenings away in the warmth of a dry summer sky by a twinkling ocean. With one hand in my pocket and one hand waving free, silhouetted by the sea, as my 1960s musical heroine Melanie Safka put it in her version of Mr Tambourine Man. Music also, of course, has the ability to transport us. I've always loved the ability of fashion art as well as chosen belongings to transport us beyond the humdrum reality of everyday quotidian life, to inspire us and recall and explore different sides to ourselves and not to dwell in nostalgia, but rather to bring positive feelings to the forefront into our present day reality. And that's what I do when I'm working with private clients too. We harness the power of styling as an outward reflection of your internal self to streamline and empower your everyday, to bring more joy, more fun, more love into your life so that your style supports you and you feel like your most gorgeous you. 
My Next Level You method uses the brain's neuroplasticity to reinforce new neural pathways, to change your relationship with yourself and cements that new relationship by restyling and reassociating, reattributing meaning to your possessions, to change the way that your brain thinks, acting as a concrete and visible reminder of your fabulous next level self in all its gorgeous new reality and possibilities. My red booties also remind me of Paul Simon's song, Diamonds on the Soles of Her Shoes. Like many of you, I grew up listening to Simon and Garfunkel on Sunday day trips and long car journeys to and from university, that rite of passage into adulthood, where maybe you've still got one toe dipped into childhood, yet you're ready for independence and the exciting self-discoveries of adulthood, of walking with diamonds on the soles of your shoes. As a child, I went to a strict convent school and wore ugly regulation brown shoes for what seemed like forever. Adulthood for me meant the freedom of choosing your own shoes as well as everything else. The diamonds on my boots might not be real, but they remind me of the wealth of experiences and the life lived, as well as the life still to live. Because a modern midlife is about living plenty of chapters, hopefully with many still to come. I've always loved sparkle, and while my style is mostly fairly elegant and sober, there's nothing for me like an uplifting hint of glitter that fills me with childish glee. It's a little bit tacky, it's a little bit vulgar, a little bit retro. It's my dash of paprika, as infamous ex Harper's Bazaar editor Diana Vreeland would say, and everybody should have a dash of paprika in their wardrobe. And long after I've taken my booties off, I'm reminded to dazzle daily from the inside out. I'm endlessly intrigued by people's relationships with their possessions. What are your favourite things and why? Let me know in the comments below. I've worked as a stylist and editor for magazines such as Harper's Bazaar and Exit, and I know that it's as much about editing out as adding in, and the same applies to your existing items in your home and in your wardrobe. So go through things with a critical eye and edit things out. Keep the creme de la creme your sparkly booties, the things that you really love and that have a special meaning to you, that ignite beautiful, joyful, positive, happy memories. I made a playlist of declutter videos about decluttering everything from your mind to your wardrobe using my shine method to radiate your best, brightest light in life. You can check it out here.